Uh, my first cap for Scotland was uh, against New Zealand All Blacks in December 1972. Um, Without doubt, the highlight of my rugby career because it's such a great thing to uh, to play for your country. Um, it was a tremendous game. I remember we we lost very narrowly in the last couple of minutes. We were ten nine down, um, pressing their line, and uh, Alistair McCard put a ball out to Billy Steele. It was intercepted by their scrum half Sid Going, who ran the length of the field, and um, and that was it. But uh, tremendous game. In those days, um, we could give New Zealand a really hard time. Uh, my boyhood hero, I would have to say, uh, is, is not a rugby player. Um, he, he was a soccer man. It was Dennis Law, because as a youngster, I used to play a lot more soccer than I did rugby. Um, and in those days, uh, Scotland had a, a really good soccer team. I think my most enjoyable game for Scotland was uh, the last one I played in the Five Nations, and, and that was down in Cardiff in, in 82. Uh, we hadn't beaten Wales for 20 years down in Cardiff, and we gave them a good hammering that day, 34-18. A tremendous match. Uh, Scotland scored five tries, and uh, it was just some great rugby. Uh, I would say my toughest opponent, opponent um, was probably J.P.R. Williams from Wales. Um, he, he was obviously a, a full-back as well. Uh, very, very strong, very tough, uh, unbelievably committed in the tackle. Uh, great player uh, and um, great tourist as well. Toured with him with the British Lions. Uh, he, he would be the toughest full-back I've ever played against. Uh, my favourite player in the Scottish jersey uh, would be my old teammate Jim Rennick. Um, Jim was, I think, uh, very underestimated as a player. Uh, he only went in one Lions tour. He should have gone in three, in my opinion. Uh, tremendously quick, great rugby brain, and uh, not bad chat off the field as well.